Hi, my name is Willie Sutton. I was a famous bank robber in the 1920s and 30s and 40s, but today I'm best known as the man who said, because that's where the money is, when a reporter asked me why I rob banks. I actually died of COPD from smoking back in 1980, but I'm still stuck here in purgatory, probably because I was, you know, a bank robber. Anyway, every now and then I get a visitor who comes here from heaven, kind of like the visits I used to get when I was in prison, only better. My last visitor was the English philosopher Elizabeth Anscombe, who told me all about how in 1956 she wrote a pamphlet protesting the decision by Oxford University, where she was a professor, to give Harry Truman an honorary degree. She thought it was wrong to honor a man who had decided to kill several hundred thousand innocent people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. She was no pacifist, but she knew that, as she wrote, for men to choose to kill the innocent as a means to their ends is always murder, and murder is one of the worst of human actions. This reminded me of the tobacco companies, whose business plan is to make a profit by addicting and then ultimately killing the innocent. The plan works because tobacco kills so slowly that the victims can buy lots of cigarettes before they die. But the tobacco companies are no less murderers than those who kill more quickly. Every day, tobacco kills 1,300 people in the United States and more than 19,000 people worldwide. Every single day. In addition, we now know that the food industry has adopted a similar strategy, promoting a deadly diet high in sugar and salt that causes obesity and diabetes and which has now surpassed tobacco and become the leading preventable cause of death. To help you feel what killing the innocent really means, look at this 1942 photo of a German soldier shooting a Jewish woman holding her child in her arms. When I think of the murderers who choose to kill the innocent as a means to their ends, whether it's Harry Truman or the tobacco companies or the food industry, I think of this soldier and of what Pope Francis calls the fundamental terrorism against all humanity being carried out by the world economy that has at its center the god of money and not the person. Woody Guthrie, a contemporary of mine, put it this way, some will rob you with a six gun and some with a fountain pen. Look more closely at the soldier and the woman and her child. It's happening right now, thousands of times a day. So long.